Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This is the first video of a series of videos that will teach you the basics of Sage 50 accounts, which is a very popular accounting software here in the UK, but I know it's used beyond the UK as well. It's used internationally. The tutorial series will cover everything you need to know to use the software. It will cover the basics of recording invoices, raising invoices, recording payments, to adding new accounts, adding bank accounts, and then some more advanced aspects of the software too, like bank reconciliations, VAT returns, and those sort of things. I do have another series on YouTube that covers Sage Instant and Sage 50 accounts. The reason why I'm doing this new tutorial is Sage has recently updated the layout. It all looks a bit more modern and fancy and they've actually changed the name to Sage 50 accounts. So Sage Instant accounts doesn't exist anymore as far as I know. If you go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, so here's the URL at the top, so free, F-R-E-E, bookkeeping with a double K, accounting.com. Go to popular courses or accounting software courses and just click on the free Sage training page. So that will load up. So the first half of this page, all the way from basic Sage training, Sage Instant accounts, Sage 50 accounts, and Sage 1 accounts, all of these videos are all for free, but this is for the old software. So if your accounting package looks different to this, it's likely you've got the old version. If it looks like this, then you've got the new version, and these new videos will show down the bottom here. Let's have a look. So from here, basic Sage 50 training course, hash one, advanced Sage training, Sage 50 accounts. So this section at the bottom of the page is for this new software. This is all for Sage one and the old Sage 50, Sage instant accounts software. Hopefully that makes sense. It might be worth going to the website and clicking on the links that will show here to access the videos rather than going on YouTube because I know sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the next part in the series. So if you just go to my website, it's all listed here and you can just click on one after the other. Now I'll do my best to go through things slowly um, but also have a good enough pace that people aren't getting bored. If I am going too fast at any point, then just pause the video. You can rewatch the video um, until you get it. If you need a bit of assistance, then I do provide Sage and bookkeeping email support. You can find more details here. So accounting, email support. So if you have questions about Sage that is not answered in the tutorial series, then you can just go here and sign up and then you're free to ask me questions by email and I'll provide you answers. Something else worth mentioning before we really get started with this, these links to the left here, these are all the modules. I refer to these as modules, so the customer module, the supplier module, the nominal module, the bank module. I refer to these as modules. If I say the customer module, I basically mean this page here. Now, something else worth mentioning is there's a zero down the bottom here next to a date. This is the financial year of the company. So April 2017, that's the start of the financial year. So the financial year for this company will run April 2017 to March 2018. This is today's date. And then there's a zero here. This zero is the transaction number that the software is currently on. So as we raise an invoice and post a transaction on Sage, this number will go up by one. So that's just a few details for you. Um, just to 
save me um, if I forget to cover that later on. After the tutorial series, I'll go through a number of miscellaneous tutorials, just things that I won't cover in this main tutorial, things like changing financial year dates, changing company details, and things like that. It's really worth watching. So once you've watched this main tutorial, there will likely be some additional videos right at the bottom of this page. And you can just go through and watch them. I'll probably put them down the bottom here, just like I did with this Sage Instant um, software, uh, other Sage videos, tidying ledgers on Sage, um, company supplier and customer dashboards, how to enter a journal entry, things like that. Okay, uh, when you're ready, just click on the next video and we'll get started.